Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing a Garuda build. Now, Garuda is a very strong frame that you should definitely pick up if you don't have her. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm guessing you have Garuda already and you want to watch see the build. Now, basically, Garuda is very strong. She mainly gives health. She doesn't do loads of DPS, but she can do DPS. But she's mainly just to give other people health. That's the main purpose. Uh, she can definitely do damage. Not as insane as Seren or something like that, or Mesa, but she definitely can do damage. Now, before we get to the build, I just want to say we are doing a giveaway for Xbox players of 50 Platinum by the end of the month. So if you want to enter into that, put your Xbox gamer tag in the comment section down below. And at the end of the month, I will then announce a winner and message you on Xbox. So let's get into the build. So now let's, we'll go through the abilities first on how all of them work. Now all of her, her whole kit works very well, it's like like Saren, all of her abilities are really useful. So Dread Mirror, rip the life force from an enemy and use it as a shield that captures damage, this significantly weakened enemies instantly, this, significant, this kills significantly weakened enemies instantly, charge the channel that captured the damage onto an explosive projectile. This does a lot of damage, uh, depending on how much damage you've stored up, this can do a lot of damage. So now next is a blood altar. Blood altar is what you're going to be using all the time. Impale an enemy on an altar of talents and siphon health for Garuda and her allies. Basically, you just regain HP from this. Very good ability. And then bloodletting. Basically, Garuda sacrifices health to generate shield, to generate energy. So now basically, her bloodletting and her blood altar are really good. So you use your bloodletting to get your energy and then use your blood altar to get the health back. And I'll talk about why you want the energy in a minute. So seeking talons, charge to expand the targeting area, release the send Garuda's talons, carrying toward each target in area. Surviving enemies are prone to bleeding. So basically it just does a bleed effect. If you're going long survivors, it'll just do bleed effect. Now the reason why I said you want energy is because we have quick thinking. You want quick thinking on this build because then basically you're always going to be using your bloodletting and then you're going to have the energy to do so. So now we have Umbral Vitality, Umbral Intensify, Blind Rage, Prime Continuity, Prime Flow, Streamline, Augur Reach, and then we have Steel Charge for our Aura. Now, the reason why we have this build on is because it is very, very strong to use. So now we're going to get ourselves some energy, and then I'm going to unpause these AI, and I'm going to show you on how exactly she works. So you want to use your Bloodletting. You want to use your second, you can only use three at a time. So if you have three at a time, you can do a lot of damage. Now if you see here, we're not dying, we're just losing a shield. We're losing energy and not actually dying. So now, obviously you're using your melee, killing them around like this. And because we have three of them down, it is very hard for me to die right now. This is why it is really good. Now you want to use your one as well, make sure you are storing the damage that they are doing to you. Because if, you don't, if you're not storing the damage, then you're gonna die really quick because obviously you get damage looks from when they shoot you in the shield so this is why it was very good now if you see here I'm not really gonna die it's very I'm literally lo losing my health on purpose so to, to get my energy and I'm not dying this is why Garuda is so good to play uh, especially in long survivals because she's just really good to play now obviously I'm not, I'm not standing here and I'm still Taking a, taking a bit of time, now that's taking my energy, now I do need to get my energy back, so I do this, boom, and I'm not going to die again for a while because I've got my energy, this is why Garuda, this is why you need quick thinking on Garuda, because quick thinking and her bloodletting works so well together, it's like the mod was made for Garuda, and obviously you get, you get a damage increase when you have less health, if you look in the bottom left, in the bottom right, in the top right I mean, if you look in the top right you see where it's keep going up like 33% right now this will then go up the more HP you lose like now it is now it's going down because I'm getting HP back so this is why this build is really good now I will use a melee weapon because melee weapons are strongest except for like the Kuva charcoal or something but melee weapons highly recommend using them that's why it also still charges on there so it'll work as well so now if you see here just it's just in general you really really strong you that was very hard for me to die so now that's basically been it guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe it will be very much appreciated 
And uh, yeah, see you guys later.